and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the best free NFL 100 player to pick. As you guys do know, we do get one free choice from the NFL 100 solos. Coming up this Friday will be the last NFL 100 release. Now, upon the last NFL 100 release, we will be able to pick one free player, guys. And I know it's overwhelming. We have like 20 to 30 players that we're going to have total, maybe a little bit more. And they're all awesome choices. There's so many good options. It's, it's, it's overwhelming me. And I can I even bought some already, but like it's still overwhelming me. There's so many good options. I really don't know. I don't know what the best route is here for like, there's just so many options. So my overall opinion here is I'm going to be going over each individual bracket. I'm going to give you guys the best from each and then give you guys my top five from those. So I'm going to break it down very nicely for you guys so you have an idea of what to take and then I'll give you guys my overall number one. Now, I'm going to give you guys my stat wise. Now, at the end of the day, here's the thing. The best ones to take aren't always the ones you're going to take. It's, it's, it's like Eric Dickerson was the best running back and I still went with Barry Sanders. It's still going to always be opinionated for yourself. Now, I'm going to give you, I'm just going to break it down to who are the, because some guys are just not smart. Like Steve Largent isn't just, isn't a smart choice over maybe Randy Moss. So I'm gonna give you guys the best ones that no matter who you take from there, you're making a smart choice. And I'm give you guys the best, the best overpowered cards. And from there, you can pick where you want because no matter what, you're winning in that situation. Now guys, before we get into the video, it's the 25 days of Poodmas still. And if you guys were wondering about the other three days, I did announce the giveaway winners in today's out of position LTD video at 10.30. So go check that video out. I announced all three of the winners. And now, to enter today's video, to enter today's giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console, and the secret world. You do all those things you're just to win. Now, let's head over to our sets. Okay, guys, real quick for all you guys who are wondering when I said about the NFL 100 pack, how do you actually get one? Because I know you guys are probably wondering a little bit, like, where do you actually get the NFL 100 free player from? So, just go into challenges, and you go over to the NFL 100 solos. Now, there is a catch to this that I got to get across, you guys. So, complete all challenges over the six weeks programs are in a Nat Centennial Fantasy Pack. So, next week, this Friday, when they release the quarterbacks, it will become available for us to get one free. So make sure you're playing all of them, guys. I'm a little behind. Make sure you get them all done before week five because you never know if on the final week they cut them all off right at night. Like you, That's it. You have the last chance to play them and they cut all the old ones off. We don't entirely know. I recommend you guys go ahead and you get these solos done to get your free player. Now, here's the one thing. It says a Nat Centennial Fantasy Pack, so that could mean one of two things. It could mean it's a pack of all of them. We get to pick one or it's a pack of three. Now, guys, that is the beauty of the way I ranked my stuff. I give you guys two. I give you guys all my top card. I give you guys all my opinions. So... A few of you guys might get all the guys I didn't pick, but I gave you guys my opinion on all the cards and pretty much ranked them. So you guys have all my opinions. So let's say you get a pack with Steve Largent. You guys get a pack with Larry Fitzgerald and a pack with like Alan Page. Yeah, I didn't pick any of those guys, but I gave you guys my opinion on them. I said Steven Fitzgerald are too slow. Maybe you just take uh, Alan Page there. So no matter what, you will have my opinion. So this video will help you guys no matter what the fantasy pack ends up being. But let's get back into the regular part of the video. I'm gonna do it this way because I feel like this is a very cool way to do it overall. So the NFL 100. I'm going to go starting from week one. Starting with the running backs. Now, guys, overall, you can take any players from any of these. They're all great players. So no matter what, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But I'm going to give you guys the best from each. I think it's really cool to do it this way. Week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. Or we, uh, week five is now yet, but I'm going to go over, or week six, I mean. So I'm going to go over each one. You guys can get, I'm going to give you guys my best options from each, and I'm going to break those down. So coming in from the running backs, we got four guys. We got Emmitt Smith, Jim Brown, Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson. Easy choice here. I think you cut out Emmitt Smith and Jim Brown. Barry Sanders or Eric Dickerson are the shoo-in number one choices from this from this week. Now, if you have to pick one, guys, I love myself some Barry Sanders. I do. But I think I'd go Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson has top-tier speed, top-tier excel, top-tier excel, top-tier strength, top-tier trucking, freight train, NFL 100 activated. Guys, Barry Sanders is great, but here's the issue with Barry Sanders. He can only juke. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't break tackles, which is very weak. He's a good break tackle. He does not break tackles. He's not very strong. If he gets touched, he's getting tackled. So pretty much you have to run around people. And that's not that easy when everyone has like plus 90 speeds now. Trust me. So I think Eric Dickerson is the shoe and pick from week one. I think you want to take Eric Dickerson if you're gonna go for a running back pick. So he's gonna be one of the guys that I'll put in the final. This is almost like The Bachelor. I'm gonna take like one of each. I'm gonna put them in the final bracket. But Eric Dickerson from this week is going to be one of the guys I choose. Now, there's so many options, guys. So it's gonna be kind of long. It's not going to be, I'm not saying go take him now. If you're watching this and you're watching this during, don't just go ahead and take Dickerson because I said so. Still wait to the end. Hear them all out first. I have plenty of a case for all of them. Now week two, linebacker and defensive lineman. A lot of options here. So who doesn't get one of the roses? Who gets kicked out? Bobby Bell out. Alan Page out. Deacon Jones out. 
Willie Lanier out, Mean Joe Green out. I think the top two options are, guys, these are all great cards, but you gotta go with Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White. Those are the two you gotta go from here. You have to. Interchangeably, Lawrence Taylor is the only outside linebacker with all above 90 stats, above 90 speed, above 90 cell powered up and everything, above 90 pass rush, above 90 run stuff, tall. One of the glitchiest cards every year in Madden. So you gotta go Lawrence Taylor as one of the top guys on this list. So far we got Dickerson Lawrence, and then we got Reggie White. Now Reggie White, again, probably the best pass rusher in the game right there with Lawrence Taylor at that end. Probably the best end in the game. Top tier speed, top tier excel, top tier pass rush, top tier run stuff, top tier finesse move. Like there's no, he's no joke. He's overpowered. So, so far our list, we got Dickerson, Lawrence Taylor, and Reggie White. Those are three guys I think that are three of the guys you have to be taking on this thing. I think Mean Joe Green's great. Lanier's great. Deacon Jones great. Page is great. Bobby Bell's great. But I don't think you take any of them. If you have to take one, I still think maybe Alan Page is a great one or maybe Mean Joe Green, but not compared to Lawrence or Reggie White. Now on to the next set, going on to week three. We got defensive backs and special teams. Another week where, okay, so here, you got Deion Sanders, Ray Guy, Willie Brown, Devin Hester, Ed Reed, Rob Woodson, Adam and Terry, Ronnie Lott. So here are the guys that aren't getting the rose. Ray Guy, out. He's a punter. Willie Brown, he's great, but he's no better than Nitro Lane. He's out. Ed Reed, he's awesome, but he's Pat Tillman's position. And if you guys just try hard enough and you play enough, Pat Tillman is going to get, become better than him. So Ed Reed's out. Rob Woodson's great, but I think he's also out. I don't think he's a necessity. I think he's out too. Vinatieri's a kicker. He's out. So this comes down to Ronnie Lott, Devin Hester, and Deion Sanders. Now, I personally think Devin Hester's a necessity. I mean, I think I think he's a luxury. I honestly, I'm not going to put him on this list. Because, guys, yes, he's gets human joystick. Yeah. Your word for today's video is Dion. Comment down below, Dion. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment down below your content. Once you do all those things, you're interested in win. Good luck. Yes, he's overpowered. But when you're playing regular offense with him, you can't run routes with him. You can't use him that often on as a wide receiver. You can use him as a gadget player. But I don't really play with gadget plays. And not to mention, I think he doesn't help every team. And he only helps you in certain aspects. You want a guy that helps you whenever you're playing on that side of the ball. He's helping you. I think that's going to be Dion Sanders and Ronnie Lott. Now... My preferred option is tough. So Ronnie Lott, I call him Brian Dawkins V2. He's faster, he's stronger, better zone, better hit power, better excel. He can do everything. He can cover all sides of the field. He can play many play zone. He's the ultimate weapon in the secondary. And Deion Sanders is the second ultimate weapon. In the, like him, him, him and Ronnie Lott are the two ultimate weapons right now in, in, uh, on defense, right there with Lawrence Taylor. So you gotta put you gotta put Dion on this list and you gotta put Lott. Those are two, those are two of the guys from this that are gonna make it to the next round. Deion Sanders, powered up in Kemdo, gonna have a high, high 90 speed, high 90 man, high 90 zone, high 90 play rec, high 90 excel, high 90 jumping. He's literally the ultimate athlete. You gotta go with Deion. He's a great kicker turner too. And then Ronnie Lott, like I said, can do everything. So he's making it. So far we got Dickerson, Lawrence, White, Dion, and Lott. Now for week four, a tight end and offensive line. I'm not gonna be taking almost anyone here. There's one guy I'm gonna be taking here, but I don't even think he's an option. So Munoz, Ogden, Bruce Matthews, Dwight Stevenson, Larry Allen. You're not taking a lineman. I'm sorry. They're cheap enough as they are. They're one of the cheapest ones out there. And personally, you need a whole line to help you. One one individual lineman doesn't make a difference. That's always been the thing with Madden. Just getting one great left tackle isn't going to help the other side of the line this week. You got to get the whole. And if you can't afford all of them, it's going to be too much. So Tony Gonzalez is the only guy that I'd recommend you take from here. As Tony Gonzalez is different. I have him. He makes he's crazy route running, like 95 powered up route running with Madden passing. He's like 95 passing um, route running. He he makes cornerbacks and linebackers stutter. He he easily route runs around them. He makes great catches and he has great speed. I think Tony Gonzalez makes the next round. I don't think he's one of the top options, but he's got to make it from that week. Now week five is a wide receiver. So there's Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, Steve Largent, Larry Fitzgerald. Start off with Larry Fitz. Larry Fitz not gonna rose. He's not gonna make it. He has 90 speed, powered up. He's like a 91 speed. Way too slow. Great card, great everything, but 91 speed, like we had that two months ago. That's, that's too slow at this point in the game. Steve Largent, not going to get a rose either. Steve Largent, he only has an 89 speed, way too slow again. That automatically disqualifies him. Then there's Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. Guys, Jerry Rice is great, but he also has a 91 speed. I honestly don't think he even makes it to the next round. Jerry Rice, I love him. Great route running, great catching, but again, not fast enough. I think Randy Moss is a shoe and pick from here. And he's got to make it out of this one because Randy Moss... Randy Moss says on my team at 96 speed with a 98 spec catch with a 90 brow running with 96 catch traffic with above 90 route running all around. Guys, this card's a monster. 96 foot four. Randy Moss makes it to the next round. So now it comes down to these last few guys. And that's the quarterbacks, which have not come out yet. But guys, I didn't wait for the quarterbacks because I don't think quarterbacks will be that important. So here's the thing. Maybe they give us like a Dan Marino, let's say, right? Are you replacing Dan Marino for Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes? We need a mobile quarterback. And it looks like these quarterbacks we're getting from the NFL 100. We got like Unitas. Uh, we got maybe Marino, we got Favre, we got Brady, we got Peyton Manning, and we got Steve Young. So the only way we get a quarterback from NFL 100 that we really want to upgrade for is going to be Steve Young. 
Steve Young is the only quarterback that if we get, we're going to be like, damn, he's going to be fire. That's the only one. So, guys, here's the thing. If you want a crazy dashing dead at quarterback, if we get Steve Young, he's going to make the list. So, I'm going to put Young on this list. Young, if, if, he get, if he gets one. If it's Peyton Manning, if it's Brady, if it's Far, we're probably not going to want him because they're not going to be mobile. They can't get escape artists. And we already have guys like that, like Kurt Warner, right, that we didn't even want to use when we had them. So, I think that if Young gets one in the NFL 100 nods, he does make the list. Now, here's the final list. we got Dickerson, Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White. Dion, Lot, Tony G, Moss, and Young. Now here's let's start making our cuts. So out of this is who I think you gotta take. So we got Reggie White, I think I'm gonna take off the list. He's awesome. But at the end of the day, I think I'd rather take Lawrence Taylor as my pass rusher. White comes off the list. Tony G, awesome, but he's too cheap. He's only 400 k You want one of the more expensive ones, just it's just smarter. So take off Tony G. So you end up with Dickerson, Lawrence, Dion, Lot, Moss, or Young. Those are my top six right there. Now, here's the thing. If you guys have a lot of coins, take who you want from this list, right? If you have a lot of coins, take who you want because at the end of the day, you don't care. You just want to get a card that you want. But guys, if you want to be economically like efficient, you want to go with the one that goes for the most. Like that's the truth. So like, let's say Moss goes for 700k and Lot goes for 500k. You probably want to just take Moss and then just buy Lot on the side because you're saving a lot of coins that way. It's definitely worth it to be like economically efficient with that when it comes to that. Now, guys, if I, if I have to personally pick one from here, if I have to personally pick one. I'm honestly, I'm probably not going Dickerson. I'm gonna be honest with you. Dickerson's great, but halfback's really not a depth position. It's like whatever you want, that one top one you're gonna rock with him. Amon Green just came out. He's better than this Dickerson, but he doesn't get freight train activated right away. But Amon Green's a budget option for half the price. I think I'd rather go with Amon Green. So take him off. We end up with Lawrence Taylor, Deion Sanders, Lot, Moss, or Young. Now you want these are my now I'm down to five. You want to get one that can be a guy that could be there all year. So who can I see here being all year? I personally think every guy here can be here all year. I really do. That's why they're the beauty of them. Now, do you want to go depth, right? You probably want to go depth because at least if you get it for, because like, let's say you get Steve Young, right? He's a quarterback. You never really want to get a knack quarterback though. Steve Young, don't get me wrong. If you get him, you have no problems with me rock with him for the whole year. But I personally take Steve Young off because in my opinion, I don't want a knack quarterback. I want to be able to change my quarterback. And then if you change your quarterback now, it's like you never got that NFL 100 for free. Now you're down to Lawrence Taylor, Deion Sanders, Ronnie Lott, and Moss. I think all these guys are interchangeable. I'm gonna rank them for you. So coming at number four. At number four, I'm probably taking Ronnie Lott. Number four. He's a great card, but again, he's on a depth position. And I think some of the other ones are a little bit bigger names in my opinion. Number three. Oh, this one's tough. This one's tough. Number three, shout out to Lawrence, Deion, and Moss. I'm going Moss at number three. I love Moss, best wide receiver in Madden. Probably one of the best wide receivers in NFL history. But the issue with Randy Moss is that he's a wide receiver. It's a run heavy meta. It's I and the way I play personally the way I play it's a, it's, it's a bias. I don't throw jump ball contested catches I throw I'm about spacing and speed Randy Moss can do all of those things But a lot of the price you pay for him is for his height and his catch and traffic Which I'm not gonna use and I don't really I, any wide receiver can do what I do anyone with decent speed So Moss can come at number three now for the top two options I think Lawrence or Deion Sanders are your top options. I use my power pass and Deion already, which is why he's one of my top options So I think Lawrence Taylor is number two Greatest pass rusher in NFL history more than likely gonna be one of the best cards on your team I think Lawrence Taylor is definitely a top option. But number one, you gotta go to Deion Sanders. Here's the reason. Here's my reason behind Deion Sanders, right? He can play kick return. He can play punt return. He can even play on offense with the right formation. He also plays offense for you defensively. Because guess what? When uh, when a cornerback gets a pick for you, like Sherman, he gets it. He gets like 10 yards. He goes down. When Deion Sanders gets an interception, it's almost always, he takes it either past the 50 or, or, he gets a touchdown and if he doesn't do all that things sometimes the picks he gets are crazy and by the way he's jumping he makes so many plays from you can't test him you if, as long as you don't press you can't test him deep he's going to be able to jump any route there's routes that he completely gets beat on and he comes back across the field to catch him he can chase down anyone he chases down people from out of left field he's crazy fast he can play all sides of the ball he scores for you because he gets so many interceptions if he picks up a fumble it's going to the house there's just so much like when Deion Sanders touches the ball it's scary he's prime time I think that he's so and the better the beauty about him is that right now he's my best wide receiver he's the best, best cornerback in Madden right in a month he'll be my second best cornerback and in three months he'll be my third best cornerback and wait before he's the third best cornerback a new one comes out for ultimate legends or something he's my first cornerback again Deion Sanders is going to be a top three cornerback for you on your team the rest of the year that's the beauty of it so yeah Lawrence he's great but he's not depth so you're stuck with him lot he's great but if they get out with a better free safety you can't use him anymore and same thing with moss they, moss again is a, moss moss in a similar position as why as dion where he might go down to wide receiver three and come back up but the thing with moss is that he's a wide receiver i don't i don't really i only use two passing sets any two passes anyways i don't really pass that much so 
I think Dion's the move, guys. I think that pretty much wraps up this vid. The final options are Lawrence, Dion, Lot, Moss. And I think in this order, you go Dion, then Lawrence, then Moss, and then Lot. They're all interchangeable. If you have cornerbacks ready, go with the other things. It doesn't really matter, guys. That's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. 125 days of food miss. Enter all you gotta do is subscribe, like the video, comment down below your console, and the secret word here at the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. See you guys in the next video. Peace.